one cold and bitter Thursday in Munich, Germany. Eight great football stalwarts conceded victory. Eight men will never play again who met destruction there. The flowers of English football, the flowers of Manchester. Mad Busby's boys were flying. Returning from Belgrade. This great United family, all masters of their trade. The pilot of the aircraft, the skipper, Captain Thane. Three times they tried to take off. And twice turned back again. The third time down the runway. Disaster followed close. There was slush upon that runway. And the aircraft never rose. It ploughed into the marshy ground. It broke. It overturned. And eight of the team were killed as the blazing wreckage burned. Roger Byrne and Tommy Taylor, who were capped for England's side. And Ireland's Billy Whelan. And England's Jeff Bent died. Mark Jones and Eddie Coleman and David Pegg also. They all lost their lives as they ploughed on through the snow. Big Duncan he went to was an injury to his frame. Johnny Berry and Jack Blanchflower will never play again. The great Matt Bosby laid out as the father of his team. Three long months passed by before he saw his team again. The trainer, coach and secretary and a member of the crew. Also eight sporting journalists who were united few. And one of them, Big Swifty, who we'll never forget. The finest English keeper that ever graced the net. Or England's finest football team. Which record truly great. Its proud successes mocked. By a cruel turn of fate. Eight men will never play again. Who met destruction there. The flowers of English football. The flowers of Manchester. <laughs>